Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a Saturday here and we are really just hanging around the house, but we've had lots of things going on in our life that have made it really hectic, a hectic 2021. And I thought that I would share with y'all what's been going on in our life in this video. So I hope that y'all enjoy. Stay tuned. Say hi. <laughs> this is currently my favorite coffee and I have not been drinking espresso like I usually do for like a month now so I'm just back at like Starbucks coffee. So there are two sets of big news in this video, so make sure you pay attention for them. They will be obvious, but my first set of exciting news is that my merch for the Simplified Saver is finally live. I will include a clip right here sharing more of it with you, what it's like. Um, I'm so excited to share it with you guys. This is the baseball tee. They are super soft, true to size. This is the gray. It comes in like five other colors. There's also a black. I've worn them for many months. There's no fading, no pilling whatsoever. Okay guys, I am so excited. I am finally sharing with you the shirts and sweatshirts that I designed for the Simplified Saver brand. I have been working on these for a couple of months. I almost posted them in December. I did a poll on my Instagram and most of you wanted it to be after Christmas because you didn't have like that money in your budget to buy something in December. So I am launching it today. It is live right now. The link is going to be in the description box. Click it. There are a variety of sizes and I really tried to make these prices affordable. I looked on many other YouTuber and influencer blogs and looked at their prices and I really tried to make it cheaper and affordable for y'all. So I hope that you enjoy them. I designed them myself. You are going to see one sweatshirt style that comes in a variety of colors, one with white font and one with dark font. And then you are going to see a baseball tee option with dark font. And then last minute I decided to throw in a short sleeve option for you um, just because I know not everyone is living where it's cold. It's warmer in some places than others. So I hope that y'all enjoy them. All right, so if you are wanting some, make sure to click the link down below. It's going to be limited quantity and a limited time only I will not do this logo merch launch again in the future it will be different so if you really like it make sure to get it now I will also post the details on my Instagram thank you so much everyone for following and I hope you'll enjoy these all right so what are we doing today Vera oh uh, no what do we need to do Look at the floor. What do you think we should be doing? Okay. What do you think, Truett? Clean the floor. Yeah, we need to clean the floor. You're, st you're standing on my vacuum. <laughs> we can take turns. So in the last couple of videos, I've had a lot of people ask about my kitchen remodel, bathroom remodel that I've been sharing on my Instagram. So I'm gonna share with you what we had done, what I asked for so that anyone who's interested can ask for the same thing. And I'm gonna try to find before and after pictures because it's amazing. All right, so here is my kitchen. I All I did was I bought black knobs instead of silver and I only spent about 30 bucks. And I had to get a new cooktop because mine was, one of the burners didn't work and it was cracked. I found this one on Amazon for about $300, which was really cheap because they're usually like 600, so I will link it. I have black subway tile, uh, nope, that's wrong. I have white subway tile with black grout, and I was really scared, but I actually love it because the black ties in with the counters, 
and the knobs. So the counters are just a granite and it's a mixture of white and grays and black. And that's it. And I did get this new faucet and this was really affordable. I'll link it on Amazon. So you just pull it. Say hi. All right, and I'm gonna show you the bathroom remodels, which if you've been following for a while, you can already tell that things look a whole lot different. All right, so this is what it looks like when you walk in. I've got stuff on the counter. Sorry, I was getting ready. This is what it looks like now from this side. And this is what we did to the bathtub. So if you don't remember, right here in this corner were huge tall cabinets that went all the way to the ceiling. There was an old cabinet with a rectangle mirror and this was just like old plastic tile. It wasn't even like real porcelain tile. So my husband gutted everything, saved us a ton of money. I did not film this process just because we were having people help us and it took probably like six weeks. So that's a long time to film something. Um, but all we did was gut everything. My husband like completed the floor. We had somebody come and repair like the sheetrock and my husband did the wainscoting. Um, we painted it gray. My husband finished the floor and the trim to match. The two mirrors I bought from Target. They were 60 bucks each. The light is from Amazon. I will link it. The vanity top and vanity were from Lowe's. And I got this for about 250. This was 200. These faucet sets I bought on Amazon. Hey, that's a yucky toilet. Ew. And then the hardware here I bought um, from Home Depot. And I just replaced this with a black one. And then my husband made these shelves. So this is just a wood 10 inch board that we stained. These are from Amazon. And over here in the bathtub, I bought all of the faucet stuff off of Amazon. I painted a new fresh coat of paint on the toilet. And then I asked for the same tile in here, except this is gray grout because the store did not have any more black. And I think that it still looks really good. And that's it. All right, and so here's our other bathroom. And it's pretty much the same style. So this is the same light, just smaller. This mirror is from Amazon. Same faucets. We already had this here. The floor was already done and the Wayne's coating was all done. The only thing that had to be done in here was we knocked the soffits out so we demoed it and then I had somebody come and tile it and it matches. So the only thing that we still haven't done is paint the bathtub. So we're about to go to Home Depot and it's gonna make it just look bright and white and clean. And then the same shelves. So it was like a really hectic six weeks without like working bathrooms, completely working bathrooms. Um, but it was totally worth it and they're beautiful and we love them. The kitchen, everything turned out um, really, really well. What are you doing? I've just got lots of laundry to do today. Um, so for the rest of the day, we're just gonna clean. We've gotta paint the tub. And I have one more set of exciting news to share with you. Where did you go? <gasps> what are you eating? You got chapstick? People do always ask me what my favorite affordable protein is and I like the ones from Aldi. It's whey protein and it's got creatine in it. And it's only like $14 for a month's supply versus Shakeology and I'm not even gonna tell you how much this is. Okay, 
Okay, and so the trick to making your smoothies like thick is to put heavy cream in them. <laughs> Seriously. I just do like a fourth of a cup. Alrighty. And here's the shake. I do it with strawberries. Sometimes I do it with coffee and that's what I did today. And this fills me up. It's a lot and I've been having that like for lunch or I use it to break my fast because I've kind of been doing intermittent fasting again. So, it's super good. Any final guesses on what the surprise is? See what they're up to. I'm not sure if anyone got the hint in the previous clip, but what are we doing, Sybil? We're moving. Where are we moving? The, uh, I don't know. You don't know? Hmm. I thought we told you where we're moving. A new house. A new house. We're moving, baby. <laughs> where are we moving to? New house. New house. We are moving. We have listed our house for sale. We are moving to a bigger home. And that is why the last month has been really hectic and crazy for me on my posting schedule. Um, I posted several times that I was gonna be posting a video, then it wasn't working out. I was gonna be posting twice a month, then in January I wasn't, and I felt so bad because I decided in December that I was gonna film twice a month, and I did, and then in January I had a really hard time, and now I can tell you guys it was hard for me because there's so much that goes into listing your house for sale and trying to find another home. We had to finish our bathroom remodels, our kitchen remodel, um, get our house up for sale. We had to have pictures taken. You have to make your home look like nobody lives in it, which is really hard. We had to meet with realtors. Like there's, there's been so much behind the scenes about getting our house on the market. Um, I can finally say that we are in the process. We have another home in the works. This home is in the works for somebody else. We are sad to leave it, but we are excited for the future. Um, this is a three bedroom home. I guess the square footage is enough for us. We can make it work forever. Um, but there's some other reasons just why we are choosing to find another home. And we have one and we're very excited for it in our future. We're gonna be moving and we're not gonna be moving until the summer. Um, things have worked out that way and have helped us to not have to move now in the middle of work. But we are gonna be moving. So I'm gonna be bringing you with us. We're gonna be going to a new house saying bye to this one. We have found will suit us pretty much forever. It's got enough space that we would ever need. Um, it's an older home still. We found an older home that is in good shape, but obviously we can still put our touch on it. So we're gonna be remodeling parts of it in the future. I think my husband's a little touched out right now. He doesn't, he's like, don't even ask me to do anything. Um, which is understandable. He's basically redid this whole house um, and has done an amazing job and has helped us be able to sell it and earn some money off of it to put in a bigger home. So we're so thankful for hubby because he can do these things. So, but we are excited to be able to do things like this to our forever home. So. I am so excited to share this with y'all. We are excited. It doesn't really feel like it's really happening though because we are gonna be still in this home for a little bit of time, but when the time comes, I will be sharing with you the moving process, sharing with you the new home, and saying goodbye to this one. So um, the good thing is that my kids are pretty excited. Um, for the new home, they've seen it and they're excited. It's got a really big backyard and we don't really have a, we have a big side yard here, but we don't really have that big of a backyard and so we'll be able to do more outside. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Y'all are the biggest supporters of me and my family 
and we are happy to bring you along with us. I will keep you posted. Follow me on my Instagram. I always post things there first and people there usually know things before my YouTube channel way faster. But thanks so much for everything. I will see y'all again this Wednesday. I'm gonna be uploading how I get my kids to eat and enjoy vegetables, how to feed picky eaters, some tricks that will help your kid enjoy and eat vegetables. I promise you they work. So stay tuned for that. I actually have another bonus video coming up. I've got a grocery haul for you for this week since a lot of people liked it last week. And I will see you again next time. Bye everybody.